are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Porterville, California, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that's... Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Big kick lands. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Able to check the high kick. Tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! Combinations here. Big kick land. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really prepare for. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Over and over. Big body kick. Block that kick to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice right hand. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Right punches there. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Real sneaky body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like really on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, let's get to round two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Big head kick. He blocks the punch. The strike and now throwing offense, countering with the hook. Nice job by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big 
big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice body right on the elbow. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's hurt. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner. And oh, 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 that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Nice punch there. Back and forth we go here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Pretty good right hand. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on oh. Oh, it. You don't really stand after you take a head just like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh! All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side, you just can't take it through. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. <laughs> Connects with a right. Nice defense there. Huge block. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and landed some big knees from the close. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big body kick. Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ten minutes in the books. Yeah. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice loop and punch. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Right under the elbow. By the his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just out of range with that right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He got him whip his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. And a miss with the right hook. Nice head kick. Whoa, whoa. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. They continue to exchange. Oh, He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish this fight. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. It's blocked. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know what you did too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up his body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Beautiful body kick. What a beautiful body kick. Oh, huge clock!
So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. This round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever Just missed. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Shot is blocked there by that him. knee. That knee hurt him. and it's only getting worse. Oh! Nice body kick. Ooh, big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better starts to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at the force behind that leg kick. What a punch. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room. It and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.